Let's now look at the buttons at the top. The actions cannot be edited from the edit mode because it simply displays our group's list of action rooms. Action rooms are where campaigns and activities are being run and organised by those within the group. Displaying this list allows any user to browse the different activities a group is involved in. A person may be inspired to join your group in order to join in with a particular activity or campaign. Location On the front door, this button shows the user the icon of what kind of group they are looking at. And by selecting it, the user is taken to the group's registered location on the map. In edit mode, selecting the location button produces a pop-up with the following options. Set as online only. If a group is an online presence only, it can list itself with this icon and they will not be shown on the map. Set as a yes hub. This allows a group to register themselves as a yes hub and will change their location pin to a blue yes hub pin. A yes hub is a physical premises run by local yesers, where the public can go in for advice on independence and a good source of campaigning yes gear. If a group is already registered as either online only or a yes hub, then the editor will be given the option of set as local group. The location settings menu also allows the editor to change group address and change location on the map. A group's address and map location is set at the time of its registration on the platform. However, should a group's location change, then the editor can update this information using these two options. Remember, when adding your group location, if it's not your group's Yes Hub, it should be somewhere central to your group's campaigning area. Location is very important as it is used to place your group pin on the indie map and this is how you are found by local volunteers when they search for local groups. Your group address is public so it's important not to use a private address. We recommend using a public building with a central address within your group's campaign area such as a hotel, a local library or a local bar. Meetings on the front door, this button lists group meetings from today's date onward, with their time, date and location. The option menu allows the user to view location on the map and save the meeting to their device's calendar. In edit mode, this button lists all meetings including past meetings. This allows an editor to adapt an old meeting and relist it or simply delete it when it is no longer needed. To edit an existing meeting, simply select its options and choose Edit Meeting. Select whatever needs changed, make your change and then select Modify. This makes the changes and returns you to the Edit Mode Meetings list. To create a new meeting, select Add New Meeting. Then simply select each of the elements on the Compose Meeting page. Date and time are set with pickers. For meeting title, description and address, just follow the prompts to add the requested information. At the bottom of the page there are two tick options. The first by default is always set to single day meeting, though, if unticked, allows an editor to set a meeting over more than one day. Maybe a meeting has been organised over a weekend or a festival for example, so just deselect this option and then use the extra date and time pickers as before. The second option allows an editor to list the meeting they have just written as members only. Selecting this option will change the listing to a white background and when created it will only be visible in the list to the group members. Publicly listed meetings are grey and will appear to anyone looking at your group's front door. Your group members will see both the grey public listings and the white members only meetings. This allows group only meetings to be organised such as drinks in a member's house after a leafleting session without publishing to all and sundry. The last button in this section is events. Editing and creating events on your group's front door is a very similar process to that for meetings. So just like meetings, the front door button lists group events from today's day onward with time, date and location. Events also have the option of including an image, perhaps a poster or a flyer. 
An image really helps sell your event and is also downloadable to encourage increased sharing and advertising. In edit mode, the event button highlights yellow and lists all events, including past events. This allows an editor to adapt an old event for relisting or simply delete it if it's no longer required. To edit a past event, choose Edit Event. Select whatever needs changed, make your change, and then select Modify. This makes the changes and returns you to the events list and still in edit mode. To create a new event, select the yellow Add New Event button. Then simply select each of the elements on this Compose Event page. Date and time are set using pickers. To add an image, select the placeholder. This opens your image files on your device. Pick the image you want and select it. For event title, description and address, read and follow the prompts and add the requested information. At the bottom of the page, there are two tick options. The first is always set to single date event. By deselecting, this allows an editor to set an event over more than one day, the same as it is in meetings. The second tick option allows you to list your event nationally on the In The Events search page. Selecting for it to appear on Events page will change the listing to a grey background. Once created, will appear nationally on In The Events and locally in your own group's front door events. Events are listed as local only by default and will appear in your group's front door with a white background unless List in Indie Events is actively chosen. Once you're happy with your events listing, hit Create. This takes you to the events list for the group. We are still in edit mode, and here you can check and set the location pin on the map as accurately as you want. Hit Zoom in, and it shows where the pin has landed from the address you included. If you want to move the pin, say to a street corner or a beach or a particular area of a park, then move to that area on the map, zoom in on your chosen location as far as you can, centre the location on your screen, and hit Set Pin. Then, Save Pin. Now, when someone wants to see the location on a map, it displays where you have put it. So, the Events button allows a group to list all their upcoming public events locally on their front door, and, if they choose, nationally on the Indie Events search page. Let me tell you a wee bit more about the features of the Indie Events search page. The Indie Events search page is where anyone can easily search and view all group listings from across the country. An Events Options allows someone to add it to their device's calendar, contact the group holding the event, view the location on the map, and it is also where a member can copy another group's event to their own local group. To share an event, simply select Copy Event to Local Group and then choose which of your groups you want to share it to. In this way, each group's own local events list becomes a place where its membership can recommend events to each other from around the Yes movement and in the process, open up Yes events from across the movement to any local users of their group's front door. This completes section one, how to complete and update your group's front door.